Howdy folks, this is Justro at Metcalf Mills bringing you Fun Fact Friday because this day and time, facts are hard to come by and they're getting harder every day. I've got a good one for you. It's a mechanical marvel and I'm real thankful for it and I know you're going to enjoy this. Folks, on today's video, I'm going to show you how this machine right here works. This is a Pease P25 apple peeler. And we're going to use it on these pears we picked. This thing's real old. I'd say it's at least a hundred year old. Probably maybe older than that. But it's a real interesting machine. And I look forward to showing you how it works. Folks, the mechanics of how this peeler works. I've just got it clamped down to the counter here. You got your crank handle over on this end. You crank it. And it turns this big gear on the back, and it also turns the spindle shaft that holds the fruit. So you put your fruit on this spindle shaft. Uh, the stem end, you slide onto the spindle shaft, and you start turning the hand wheel. And you've got a cutter right here that comes in. And you've also got a, knife, a coring knife that comes in right here that takes the core out of the fruit. So the fruit's spinning and the knife comes down. The knife turns and it's got, it's got a spring so it, it kind of rides along the fruit to the shape of the fruit. As it spins, at the whole time the core and knife is going straight into the fruit on the core and cuts the core out all the way back. So now your knife has made it all the way around the fruit, okay? The core and knife backs out. The peeler knife comes back around. It pulls the fruit off because it has separated the core from the fruit. So the fruit stays on the core core and knife and as it comes back it just this fork right here pulls the fruit off of the core and knife watch right here see how that core and knife goes back and i'll show you this working up close exactly how it works but when you put a fruit on it you can't see real good but inside right inside this spindle there's a little see that little shaft moving so when you push a fruit on that little shaft slides back and over here on this side so the fruit goes on the little inside of the spindle goes back well when you make a full cycle this back wheel has a little kick on it that comes around and it kicks that spindle up and pushes to get that core to come off of the spindle so everything comes off together. Then you just pick up your cord piece of fruit. Peeling comes off the front here, down into a bucket or whatever. You just separate the core out for the chickens or the pigs. Right here is the Peas P25 mechanical peeler for apples and pears. I'm just going to show you how this thing works. So you got your crank handle up on this end right here. And you crank this, and it's what makes the machine work. Now the crank handle has a gear on it here. It's got two gears, this gear and a bevel gear right down here. So this big gear around the outside turns the pinion gear down here on the main spindle that comes over here that you put the fruit on. Let me back it up so you can see here. So right here's your main spindle. This is where the fruit goes on. This is the main spindle that comes through over here to this gear. And when you turn the crank wheel, it turns this spindle, see? Okay, inside this spindle, when you put a, a apple or a pear on here, there's a little, see that little rod inside? Well, that pushes back when you put the apple or pear in here. And so you're cranking, cranking. Okay, on the back over here, on this main wheel, you have a... See that? This stub shaft sticking out? Okay, when that comes around, 
there's a lever that that will tree up. And what it does, when that comes around, it hits this lever, and the lever comes back to right here, and it comes up, see, and it pushes that little shaft over here back through to kick off the core. You can see the way that works is that nub, that little short nub shaft comes around and it makes contact right there. Now what it does when that happens is it pushes that and it pushes that little shaft back out to kick the core, loosen the core from the spindle forks. Then when it, it, when it goes all the way by it, it falls back down to reset. Then when you put another fruit on, it pushes that little spindle shaft back into place to be reset and ready to kick back out again. Okay, how the peeler works. So, the mechanics of this thing, so this main bevel gear back here, it's also got a stub right here. See that stub? And what that does is it comes up here and it makes contact. I'm trying to get in a position you can see here really ain't no good place to get ours pretty good so when that thing comes up it meets and makes contact with this arm right here and what that arm does is it pushes the whole peeling apparatus back out into place where it was before okay now when it comes up to the top, let's see if I can get a good shot. That nub comes back up to the top. Right, if you can see, there. Right down inside, see that little nub down there? When that thing comes up, it catches on the main frame of the peeling mechanism. And when it does that, it pulls that peeling ne mechanism all the way back. Okay. It comes all the way back across. Then that same nub meets the stub, meets the back of that frame, and pushes it all the way back up to reset it. Well, what happens when that, when that happens is... It pulls this whole peeling apparatus this direction. There's a <clears throat> there's a system right here that makes the peeler come around. And like I showed you earlier, the peeler has a spring right here. It's spring loaded so that and you can adjust the tension of that spring by moving it in these notches to make it stronger or less aggressive, depending on I guess how hard the fruit is, but. A lot of times you can't peel uh, very soft fruit with these things because what will happen is this will spin out inside the fruit because it's too soft to hold it in the core. So as you crank this, the whole peeling mechanism moves back over. The What makes the peeler spin around the apple is right in here. It's got kind of, not a cam really, but kind of like a cam. And when it comes by that, see, it causes that whole thing to turn. See them little cam studs right there? Makes that whole peeler knife turn to circle the fruit. It's kind of like a cam right here on the back side. And when you're cranking this thing, it makes the knife spin up to release the fruit off of it. So right here's the coring knife. It's got a kind of like a catch cam right here. So when you start cranking, see it folds that down, comes by this right in here. Right here's where that whole mechanism works. See that? So when it lays down, 
it allows that to stand up, see, and pull the fruit off. And, and the way it does that, it's got another little stud sticking right inside that whole mechanism so that when you move it, see, it makes it, it makes it spin. And it goes straight into the fruit, cuts the core out while it's peeling the outside, goes back, kicks the fruit off of the core knife. All right, let's see it in action. I don't have any big old huge nice apples to use on this thing right now, so I went down there and picked up some of the rusty sweet apples we got. They're not big, but... They'll do for a demonstration. And they're a little rough, so like a, if you had a smooth apple, you know, everything's going to go real smooth and have a nice finish, but... These apples have a few little knots and whatnot on them, so it may not do a perfect job peeling them. But you can get a good idea of how it peels them. So what you do is you stick your fruit on the spindle as straight as you can. So that it lines up as straight, the core lines up as straight with that as you possibly can. That's going to make sure the core and knife goes in nice and straight and gets all the core out of the fruit. All right, see it's spinning now? So you got your peeler coming in. Core and knife coming in, making the core cut all the way through. The little kicker's about to kick the core out. Kicked it out. Pull the fruit off the spindle on the core and knife. Kicks the fruit off the spindle. Core falls separately. And you can see that's just where it fell off the tree and bruised. But see, it got, because of the shape of the apple, you might take a knife and just have to clean up a little bit. It was a little off center of the core. That's what I was saying. You need to make sure you line it up just right. But I mean, that's a ton of work saved and you can clean it up with a knife in just a minute. Right, let's do it again. And I'll show you how fast this thing can work. So even with that thing not being on straight and the apple wobbling, it still, the way this thing's set up, it's made to work. It's smart and it's made to work. Watch how fast now. This is made to peel bushels and bushels of apples, like for a cannery, or I think that's mostly what this is made for, was like peeling for a cannery where they canned a lot of fruit. And I've seen some of these peas peelers set up with two or four of them together, and you just sit there, and they got this little cup that comes over. And this whole apparatus is upright. So the spindle is pointing down and it's got a little cup that you just set the apple on and the cup goes over in front of the spindle and goes up like that and moves back. It puts it on there for you. So all you got to do is just sit there and load apples on it. But this was made for like a restaurant or a farm, somewhere that they was peeling a lot of apples or pears, but not in a commercial setting like that. So... If you can line up that core, that's the hardest thing, especially on these teeny little apples. Line that core up as straight as you can. Kicks it right off. Peeled, cored, clean it up with a knife in just a minute. All right, same thing. I'm going to show you how this machine works on one of these Bartlett pears. You ready? 
Let's see, I think I want to do the opposite end on these because of the way they're shaped. I want to put the stem end pointing the other direction just because of the shape of the thing. So here we go, on a pair. Ready? Look at that. Work's done for you. Hit that nice and centered. Got all the core out. Clean it up with a knife. You're good to go. Core comes out in one nice little piece. Chicken's gonna love that. You lose a little bit of fruit doing it this way, but it saves a huge amount of time. So I like peeling with a knife, just sitting down with a box of apples and peeling them with a knife or making apple butter and apple sauce but as busy as times is people's wanting to eat cornbread and watch youtubes i have to save every bit of time i can i hope you enjoyed today's fun fact friday seeing how this old machine works and this thing i got from an old buddy of mine i call him uncle wayne he ain't no kin to me, but I call him Uncle Wayne over in eastern Tennessee. And he's a real old feller. He likes meals and all that kind of thing. And yeah, I got that from him. The machine come out of, there used to be some restaurants over there, a chain called Piccadilly. And they peeled a lot of apples for something they done. I don't know exactly what it was, but when them restaurants shut down, them apple peelers become available and he had a few of them and i was able to get one from him and man am i thankful for that machine it saves so much time especially now that uh, i gotta edit videos and do other things like that people's wanting to eat cornbread and watch youtubes so i need to peel these apples and pears as quick as i can and that machine makes a big difference i hope you all have a Happy Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. Try to spend just a little bit of time this weekend watching Metcalf's Mills videos. This is Justro. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you ain't already. Tell your friends about me. Peel some pears. Put them up. Peel some apples. Make some apple butter. We're going to be doing that real soon. Pears for sure. Apple butter. I'm really hoping because I've been missing it. I look forward to seeing you next time.